in the air. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and say it's the pheromones. It's got these it's got these men in the gym acting fucking feral right now. <laughs> Are human pheromones real? Short answer is we don't quite know yet. They originally were detected in silk moths and since have been detected in dogs, mice, sheep, deer, frogs, snakes, and a whole big part of the animal kingdom. But pheromones in humans have never been identified. There has been no systematic study that has been done on humans. And that's not to say that they don't exist. It just means that we've never identified any molecules that was susceptible of altering systematically the behavior of humans like it does in the animal kingdom. We do know that scent is extremely important to the human species, but we are very far from being able to say that this particular molecule is one that will alter significantly the human behavior. So if any brand is marketing a perfume with pheromones in it, usually these are pheromones that have been identified in other animals. The most common ones are the one for pigs and wild boars, so not human pheromones. So in other words, if you wear this perfume, you might be a big hit if you walk through a farm, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a hit if you're in a gym. Um, and if you are, maybe it's just because you are an attractive person, and that's not a bad thing. So big red flag, if a brand is trying to sell you a fragrance that promises to make you more attractive, it might be more of a pipe dream than actual reality. And if you're interested in learning more about pheromones in perfumes, make sure to check out Emma Vernon's Perfume Room podcast number 82. She just released not long ago a podcast devoted to that subject. So check it out.